Right, here I go again. I just stopped that last video and started the next one without uploading it because there's no time. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life. And their names shall be written in the book of life. Their names shall be written in heaven. Everyone who believes on the Lord Jesus Christ shall enter into paradise. Those who reject the Lord Jesus shall spend eternity in outer darkness in hell. God, God is not asking everybody to get religious. Christianity is not about being religious. It's about having some faith. And salvation is not about going to church every Sunday. Salvation is about having some faith on Jesus, the Son of God. God made this world by the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died on the cross to pay the penalty in full for our past, present and future sins. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your hearts that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent and believe, you will all perish. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. The Bible says that God wants all to spend eternity with him in the kingdom of heaven. And it's not about being religious, it's about having some faith in the Son of God who gave himself for us on that cross. Because the Bible says that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For anybody and everybody who believes, no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus, because we are running out of time. The Lord Jesus is about to come and descend from heaven and take all believers, all Christians up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind. If you haven't already done so, I urge you to lay hold of your salvation and your eternal security by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar, and his word and his truth are not in us, and no liars shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says that there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, who shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And when you believe this gospel message in your heart, and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent and believe, you will all perish, which means you'll land in hell. Your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine whether or not you spend eternity in heaven or in hell.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life and granted a mansion in heaven according to the word of God. I can't believe so many people are going to only find out how real hell is when they land in there. This is a, this is a shame because God wants all to be saved. We're not talking about being religious. We're not talking about going to church. We're talking about believing on the Son of God and his sacrifice for us on the cross. How that Jesus paid the penalty on that cross for our past, present and future sins. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. This is the gospel and when you believe it in your heart and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved and you will never lose your salvation. Please lay hold of your salvation, but do not hesitate much longer, please. Because the Lord Jesus is about to come for his church. The Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus Christ in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then this world is going to be turned upside down during the apocalypse, during the great tribulation. Seven years when God shall pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which has turned its back and on our Holy Father in heaven. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous on his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel. Don't take the gamble that there's no heaven, that there's no hell. Do not take the gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is. The way, the truth, and the life, and the only name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be an any man, because time is running out. Don't wait until you witness this great vanishing of all Christians in the rapture. Don't wait until you see all little babies suddenly disappear in the rapture. When God takes, when the Lord Jesus takes them up into heaven, lay hold of your salvation now. Time is running out. We're not talking about being religious. All we're talking about is having some faith. Have some faith and believe the gospel and you will be saved. Please, I urge you, time is almost up. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. The Lord Jesus was crucified on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin when you believe that he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. Believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus and you will be saved. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus, 
and he did, and he saved me, and I know I'm going to spend eternity in heaven. I know that I'm not going to spend eternity in hell, in outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. And Jesus said, oh, unless you repent and believe the gospel, that's where you're going to spend eternity. All can be saved, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. God loves all that he has made, but he's left you with the choice. He's left us with free will to either accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ. I can't believe that so many people are rejecting the, the free gift of God, the best gift you could ever receive, which is everlasting life. And God, God is not a liar. He doesn't go back on his promises. Therefore, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because time is running out swiftly. The Lord Jesus Christ at any moment shall tear open the heavens above. And shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And with the trumpet of God. And all who ever... All who ever died believing on Jesus will be resurrected first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. And then this world is going to be flipped upside down during the apocalypse which is about to begin, the great tribulation which is about to begin seven years of literal hell on earth when this one world leader comes on the world stage forming a new world order and he will cause everyone he is the antichrist and he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads the mark of the beast 666 you won't be able to buy or sell anything unless you have his mark in your right hand or in your forehead. But if you take the mark, you have sealed your fate and you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death, the destruction of the soul for eternity. And all who reject the knowledge of the truth, all who reject the Lord Jesus, will spend eternity there. This life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever. Lay hold of your salvation, therefore. Make sure of your eternal destination, heaven or hell. And the choice is yours. And God wants all to be saved. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved. No matter who you are. No matter what you've done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. God isn't asking us to get religious. He's only asking that you would believe on the name of the only begotten Son of God, Jesus, and his sacrifice for us. Actually, we're going to be going in about six minutes anyway. That's the only thing I was going to say. When people come back in the buskers and things, it's a bit of a call in town. And you say, 20 minutes, so 
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven. And the only requirement for you to be saved with this everlasting life is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty in full for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and say come into my life Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus made it expressly clear that unless you repent, which means change your mind from unbelief and believe the gospel, that you would all perish. And that's why we're here. Because God doesn't want any to perish. God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Time is running out. The Lord Jesus is coming for his church. The rapture is about to take place at any moment, any moment. And the Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven. He shall gather up into heaven all who have ever believed on him in the rapture. This is about to take place at any moment. A great vanishing, a sudden disappearance of all believers in the rapture is about to take place. Don't be left behind. If you haven't already laid hold of your salvation at this very late hour, I urge you to do so by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because what's coming upon this world, according to the word of God, is so terrible that billions of people are going to lose their lives. Please, lay hold of your salvation. Don't find yourself left behind because you rejected the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. God bless you, York. Jesus loves you. He 
He wants you to believe on him. His death, his burial, his resurrection. And call upon him and you'll be saved with everlasting life. Sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Sanctified, justified, heaven bound and rapture ready. And all it takes is for you to have some faith and believe on Jesus. His sacrifice for all our sins on that cross. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. God bless you. forgive them for they know not what they do and it's true so he said that people are trying to uh, work in the shops and stuff and um, we have to be reasonable and uh, it is quite loud but I told him that we're not here for long um, anyway I had a chance to tell him the gospel I hope he believes please pray for that policeman because um, God is, wasn't very far away from that man I could see it in his eyes but um, because of because of all these other religions well they call them religions um, it, you know it's put doubt in his mind that's what they're there for that's why all I'm not even going to mention the names of their gods but you know who I mean all these other religions there's only one way there's only one truth there's only one God Almighty who created the heavens, the earth, and everything that is in them, and it is the Lord God, who is Jesus Christ. God bless you.